Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw the new colonial first floor plan that I gave you in CAD class. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go onto my website and you're going to download this file. So if you click on Computer Aided Drafting 2 and you'll download this colonial house floor plan file. So you're going to click on it and then you're going to double click the red file which is the CAD file and you're going to hit download. And then you're going to click down here to open it up in CAD. Then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to save this in your CAD folder. So you're going to hit the red A, go down to Save As, and you are going to find your name or student ID number under this drop down menu. You're going to double click your Google Drive, and you're going to double click your CAD class folder, and then you're going to hit the Save button. And you'll see in here I have some different blocks for the kitchen, the bathrooms, the doors, and windows. So the first thing we'll do now is start by making some of our layers. So you guys are going to hit the Layer Properties button at the top of your screen. And then you hit this button to make a new layer. We're going to call it Walls. We'll make it red. Hit OK and we're going to change the line weight to 0 0.50. Make another layer, call it doors, make it green, and we'll make the layer 0 0.15, windows blue, and we're going to keep that one 0 0.15 furniture and fixtures yellow 0 0.05 dimensions magenta 0 0.20 And then we're going to do stairs as well, because you'll see on the plan there is a set of stairs on this drawing. We'll use the light blue. And we'll make this one 0 0.18. And then you can close out of your layers. And then we'll start. It's always good when you're doing a floor plan to start with the walls. So we'll select the walls layer, and then we can just start drawing using the dimensions on the floor plan that I gave you. So if you look at the bottom of the plan, you can see the width, and make sure you have ortho turned on. The width is 32 feet by 25 feet. And then you'll see we have a little bit of a bump out here. So we're going to come over 13 feet. We're going to come up 3 feet. We're going to come over 13 feet again. We're going to come straight down 3 feet. We're going to come over 6 feet. And then we're going to connect to where we started and press enter. And that gives us the overall outline of our um, house, there, house here. Now, if we select all these lines and you type J enter to join them together, so it's all one element, we're going to just offset it in by six inches. So O enter, six, click, and then click inside and press enter like that for me. 
Um, what happens is when you join the lines together, they don't cross over each other, and then you don't have to trim everything out, so it makes it a little bit easier for you there. Um, so the next thing we'll do, um, we'll look at our plan, and we can place some of the doors and windows. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to take my window, and we're going to use the same size window um, for all of the windows on this plan. So I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to put it on the windows layer. And then I'm going to start in the bottom right corner and you'll see that the first window is three foot three and a half inches from the edge. So I'm going to just draw this reference point on the zero layer. I'm going to come over three foot three and a half inches and then I'll come straight up. And if you look on the plan, you'll see all the windows are dimensioned to the center. So I'm just gonna move the window to that center point. And then I can delete these two reference lines. And then in between the two windows, you can see it's six feet. So I can just copy this window over and type in six feet. And then if I measure the distance between the two of them, you'll see it's six feet. And you can measure by typing DI enter and then clicking two points. The next thing we're gonna do, um, we can see where the center of the door is from this window. So we'll draw another reference line and we're gonna come over six foot eight and a half. And we'll come straight up. And then we need to grab our three foot door we want the center of our door to be on this point. So if we draw a line from one edge of the door to the other, and then we're just going to move it to right there. And then we can delete our reference lines. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to do the windows on this side of the house over here. And if you look on the plan, you can see that they're exactly the same space from the edge of the wall as they are on the right side. So an easy way to do that would just be to select these two windows and mirror them from the very center of the house. And then I'm going to come up to my walls layer. I'm going to draw a line on either side of this door. And I'm going to trim in between there. And just make sure you do a control S frequently. I'm going to come up the left side of the house now and you'll see the first window is going in the other direction so we can copy it and RO enter to rotate it. And you'll see it's um, two foot three and a half. So if I move this up two foot three and a half. Actually, that didn't work, so we're just going to draw a reference line. We will come on the zero layer, and we'll come up two foot three and a half. And then we're going to move the center of the window to that end point. And then we can delete our line. And then you'll see we don't have anything after that. There's no more windows on this side wall here. We just have a door. And we can see that the center of the door is 14 foot 11 and a quarter from the center of this window. So I'm going to draw a line from the center of this window and I'm going to come up 14 foot 11.25 inches. That's a quarter. And that is a two foot eight door. You can see that on the plan. So we are going to take the three foot door and I didn't give you a two foot eight door on here so I'm going to show you how to scale it. You're going to click on the door and you're going to type SC enter. Then you're going to click the left bottom endpoint. Then you're going to type R enter and you're going to click from here to there and you're going to put in two foot eight. 
and it will resize the door for you. Then we're going to rotate it so it's going in the right direction. And we're going to draw a line so that we can move it from the center point to the center point. And then you can delete your reference lines. Draw a line on either edge of the door and then trim in the middle.